step. I wouldn't call them. Don't chase. No, but I, oh, no, I won't. But no. I was just curious as it be, I don't, what the reason was. I don't think he had a good reason. It's like, haven't you ever done something on somewhere? But you didn't, you did on the lark, or you uh, went out on the lark, or... Well, I know he he wanted something I wasn't willing to do. Right, so... And I, so he figured, no, nah, this one's too tough. Right, right. So I wouldn't hold your breath. Yeah. No, he's not the one. Anyway, I've always seen him. Anything else? Um, I forgot your name already. Sue. Sue, I thought so. You were Linda Sue. Linda Sue, I thought, well, did I? <laughs> From the South. <laughs> um... Well, I, I'm going up to Oregon oh, okay. at Christmas time I to, have fun trip. with my niece. Um, my sister's got a, um, her boss's brother. So your sister has what? My, my sister's boss's brother. Sister? Is boss. single. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's like her boss's brother. Okay, yeah. And he, won, he asked my sister if she knew anybody who was single. And then she thought of me, trying to manipulate me to go up there to meet him. Absolutely go up there. I think he's a nice man. I just don't want to promise anything. Do you? Yeah, I think he's nice. Well, I'd be asked to call him about that. Um, I can't see that, but I think he's a nice man. Will I meet him? I think so, yeah. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Because I think he's there. Uh, you think so? I've been told that. I'm not getting that. That's okay. If he lives up there and you live down here, how will we do this? He travels. Does he? I've been told I'll even move up there someday, which I hate Oregon, so I but doubt that. <laughs> so how can we make it him be the one if he lives up there? Um, because I've been told I will travel, and he travels a lot. He's um, in his business. He owns his own business, and he travels. And I don't know if it's him. If it is, it's going to take a while. Yeah. But I don't know that it's Oregon. I see relocate. I go more east of us. Really? Uh huh. And I want to say Nebraska or Kansas. It's not Oregon at all. The one so in Nebraska or Kansas is the one. The, I see you traveling that direction. So if it is him, he will relocate, or you're going to do other traveling. I'm not sure it's Oregon. Because when I came to you a couple of years ago, I was looking for an old boyfriend mm -hmm. who I've been told Nebraska or Kansas. I told you that. Yeah. Oh God, Nancy, I'm good, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I, I've been wondering about Jay. So, and so if I'm repeating myself, that's good stuff. Yeah. Two years ago. Two years ago? Yeah, well, I don't remember ago, her at all. But she sees me going there, so I'm like, hook yeah. up with Jay. Oh, boy. Did you see me hooking up with um, Jay? I, s I don't know. What's his hair color? Um, probably brown. It was blonde. Light brown? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I see. And he, Light eyes. Yeah. Oh. Can't, good looking? Yep. Model type. Ah. <laughs> it used to be model type. Oh. So that's not yet, though, either. That's almost like a year out. Is but I don't, I don't know how it'll happen, so. What kind of time frame I gave you two years ago? Um, you just told me years. <laughs> not to give up. Not to give up. Probably another year. Okay? I have to try on the internet. Absolutely. Nebraska, Kansas. I was always drawn to Kansas for some reason. I don't know. I love to be consistent. <laughs> I know. <laughs> but, yeah, see, because when you were talking about that, and you mentioned that, I'm like, no, he's so cute. He, we, well, we soulmates. Whether you are or not, I think there's still a connection. Yeah. And I feel like whoever you're going to end up with, it's going to feel like a pair of old gloves. So just relax and see who it is. Do you see how long? I said about a year, but I'm not sure. So I'm not going to meet anybody until then? I didn't say that, dear. Oh, okay. You can meet someone every night, but I'm only looking at people you'd be wanting. Yeah, because I have... Uh, yeah, we women impatient, aren't I we? I have three strike laws. <laughs> Give the guy a couple of weeks, and if he shows any Who's that? red what? flags, what's what's three, for the? It's three strikes. If what? I see three red flags within a month. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I call it my three strike law. <laughs> I love flags. it. That's good. Yeah. I, and if they I, don't like hats, they're gone. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. <laughs> if they show any signs of abusiveness. Oh, oh yeah, I don't, that's okay. Yeah, because I've been in abusive relationships. And, I, you know, before you get too involved with them, start, your heart starts caring too much. And so you should get out while you look at that flag. That's right. I've enjoyed talking to you tonight. Thank you. All right, girlfriend. Red hair also. <laughs> red hair here. I know I had to be past life. I was a redhead. Every time mm -hmm. I see red hair, I'm, and please, blonde is wonderful, but red hair. <laughs> I keep trying. Hello, what's your first name? Kyle. K-Y-L-E? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fun. 
We've met before. One other time. What can I do for you tonight? Mm -hmm. um, I had. I was wondering if uh, anyone was around me at this point. There's a little a man, but he's short in stature. He's partly baldy, and he's medium to thinner build. Though it didn't look like a skinny man, he was small structured. He's standing right between us. Do you know who I'm speaking of? Five seven, five eight at the most. Yeah, my father is five nine. I'm off an inch. <laughs> what did I describe him? Yeah, yeah, I'd say he's not. Uh, Was he balding? <laughs> um, probably thinning, mm -hmm. not bald per se, but. And I thinning. and I he was medium, thinner built, small structure. Yeah, when I he hear he's, a yes when on he's, him. When he's and no hair on the face, no mustache. Um, no, my father had a mustache, so that might not be him. Smooth face. And your pH is in cream. This man is my coloring, my tan color. What kind of age? Uh, 50, deal? 56. I'm not sure. 56 or 60 maybe. Didn't look very old. This man here is not looking, excuse me, look at me. Uh, I'm not seeing a mustache. So father or his father. I didn't know this is a father figure in your family. He's got a small chin, like you have a delicate jawline. This man has a small face, like a not masculine, you know, ten, soft features, rounded face, and his face is smooth, there's not a lot of wrinkles, there's not a lot of lines. It's nice looking, nice looking man, very pleasant looking. And he's balding like a monk, you know, that not down here, but like here, there's, I can see hardly any hair here. Nice man. Feels like he's father-grandfather feeling. And he came up immediately. He's been here. Karen is here between the two of you. Uh, she's got a red burgundy dress on, and it's tight form fitting on her. I don't know if that's an important dress, she says. I don't know why, though. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, there's a thin woman behind you to your left rear shoulder, and she's really thin, and she looks tall to me. So five, 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 six, and she had a long, narrow face, and she has where you're very delicate featured. You know, you have a small nose. Her nose looks sharper to me. She has your lips, so they're thin. You have thin lips, you know. Do you have, know the color of hair? It looks like it's dark and light, a more light than dark. There's dark here going back. It looks like she had no bangs, but it went up like this. You know how it go, went up off the forehead. Do you know who that is? Mm -hmm. So take my descriptions and take them home. You'll find these people. Okay. Yeah, might be all relatives. And well, I know they're your relatives. They're showing you to be that way. The man that's over there, and I don't know why you have so many because we all have people. Looks like a mountain man, like a lumberjack kind of fellow over there. He doesn't look like you at all. Do you know who he is? A mount lumber man outdoors that cut down trees. So look, look for someone that looks like that. Makes me think that's what he did for a living. <laughs> oh, let's hope so. <laughs> So I just got all kinds of people around me. Yeah, senior people, no young people. Is, uh, can I ask Absolutely. to call for somebody? Uh, any? The grandmother definitely is your, and she sends you smells. I don't know what that means. I don't know, fragrances of some sort. Uh, oatmeal with raisins, cinnamon. My grandmother? Yeah. Did she serve you that in the mornings? I don't think so. I never liked oatmeal. Oatmeal that's loose, it's not thick. You know, she has raisins in it. I can see raisins in it. And I don't know who the man is in front. I don't know what his role is. Yeah, this is Greetings and good tidings, this man here. He wants to be recognized as being in your life. So I don't know what that means. You'll find him. Okay, look for me in your pictures. You have hope, hope you have pictures, right? <laughs> but for sure, you think it could be, it's a relative. These are both Couldn't relatives. Be just of I wouldn't know. I, I think they. Do you recognize them as someone just. Well, I'm just thinking of somebody that was uh, was a patient of the doctor I worked for that sort of fit the description of the Really? The, How long ago did he die? Um, I'd say about three years ago. When you go home tonight, just ask when you got a quiet moment and ask if that's him and you'll get a yes or no. Okay? Because this man's right between us, he's looking right at you. So if you were taking care of him, he's come back and he wants to acknowledge him being in your life. That's nice if that's what it was. Were you a 
Uh, what's your role with the doctor and the patients? Are you a hospice or a nurse? Or? Um, I was an office manager. I'm not doing that anymore, but uh, I worked as an office manager in a, just a small office, which the doctor passed away also. He passed away about six years, and he's, could, well, but he was old. He was a lot older than 50. And this patient died three years ago? About three years ago. So who took care of the patients? The new doctor come in? A new doctor. Mm. Yeah, I had to, we had to close the I had closed the office down. Mm. Give me some more questions. What else can I do for you, Jennifer? I was wondering uh, if there's anything in my health that I should be looking at. Or the first thing I got was the shortness of breath, and it's almost like an allergy or something. Can't breathe all the way in. I don't get illness, but remember, I'm not a doctor. I can't do that. <laughs> but it feels like you have a shortness in your breath. Right. That it could be an asthma or an allergen of some sort. Okay, check into that. I've already done that. <laughs> yeah, where they I find? do have that. I do have asthma, and then it's been exasperated. It's been, uh, what's the right word? Uh, it's been more apparent in my, you know, it's been, I had to go to the doctor really, you know, like an emergency thing a few weeks ago. Really? And That's the only thing I picked up on you that I'd be concerned about. So you take in bronchite or something? To I take an inhaler occasionally. Mm -hmm. And this is my cold I've been having to take. You have a cold now? Mm -hmm. Boy, I wish I looked like you when I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> if she's sick, I want to look like her. <laughs> it's one of those ones that just hangs on, you know, won't go away, doesn't get worse. Then I want you to take care of it. That's doesn't the only thing I got for you, dear. Anything else? Um, I'm just kind of curious. Do you see any romance in my life? Any? There's a dark-haired man that's coming. And he's rugged looking. Maybe he has a, a nose that's been broken or a little lump around a rugged looking face. So he's got a crooked nose or a bump on it or something and he's rugged looking, he's darker hair. Comes up like that. You know how the receding hairline comes up. Can't tell his height, I just got his face really fast. And Deep set eyes. I don't get time frame. No, no time frame. I just got a picture of him really fast. So, um, I would say no less than three months. Are you going to do anything special after the first year? No. Um, I haven't had a relationship in ten years. But what are you doing to find something? Nothing. Got it? <laughs> yeah. Get busy, dear. <laughs> <laughs> you want them, you got to find them, honey. <laughs> okay. Anything else for you, Linda? Actually, I do have one more question. Um, another lady who was going to be here tonight, she canceled out because of health problems, and she apparently has had several health problems. Uh, Something is getting her down. She's sick tonight. She, I sort of tried to help her out a little bit because the feeling that I had was that she she explained that she has like an electrical field around her that sometimes makes street lights and stuff go out. And um, you see that, what I do with street lights. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost spooky at times. And. I was telling her that what I think is happening, why she's having so many health problems, is that it's trying to be used as a catalyst to get her back to her spiritual side, mm -hmm. to to start to seek, because she's she and other, I think like a son and a daughter in her family are also, um, shall we say, metaphysically spiritually oriented, but she has not been pursuing it. She sort of like set it aside and doesn't deal with it or doesn't, you know, pursue it, and, um, but she was thinking that she would be wanting to get interested in that again, and I was sort of thinking that that was why she was having so many health problems, was that it was trying to be used as a catalyst to get her oriented back towards her spiritual side, and I was wondering if you don't have any feedback on this. I'm not going to say no to that, because she's, she's abusing herself in some way, but I don't know what that means. I don't know if emotionally, or she's not sleeping, or she's angry all the time and you were partially right that if she were to pull herself back and analyze what's really going on she would feel better and anytime you get into this it makes you so hungry to and i'm the last person in the world to say i meditate and i relax and i take care of myself i'm like a top that burned at both ends you know but i'm really god focused and god driven and i think that helps keeps me health healthy see what i'm saying so she's not pulling in the correct energy to keep her health up See how I word that? So whatever she's doing in her life, she's not focused on doing herself any good favors or treating herself well. Mm. See? So if she were in the metaphysics, she would try to improve her spiritual, emotional health. And when you do that, then you're physically healthy. See how I word that? Yeah. 
So tell her that way, and she'll get it. How's that? Yes, I knew you had one more. <laughs> See how I went to her because I knew it, and then while I was talking to her, you thought of what you wanted to ask. Yes. Um, I always seem to know those things. Is yes, dear. anybody with me? A man who calls himself father is with you, but I don't know if your dad is in spirit. No, my your d this alive. man, <laughs> this man is a tall, angular man, and he was straight and down, and he had dark hair. So you need to—I know—but you need to find. He calls himself father. So someone who helped raise you, felt like a father to you, or a grandfather—I can't tell the difference. They call himself father. He's a tall, angular man, um, straight and down. Didn't have wedge shape. You know, some, you know, different people are built different. He's now right behind you. He seems to love you. So I find it's an important relationship. And he's dark hair and he had dark mustache. And he had a jaw that was down like this and then straight out. So it looks angular to me. I'm going to give you all the description. Possibly died of disease because he got thin at the end of his life. I know, I get all this. <laughs> Is he my guide, or is he... No, I don't think so. I think this is a person that was in a life... Uh, m makes me think father or grandfather. And they are your guides. Mm -hmm. People say, oh, who are my angel people? Who are my <coughs> spirit people? And who are my guides? On some level, when do we not classify our spirit family as angels? Or our guides? How old is About... Ah, Lordy, Lordy. 65, 70. I'm not that good on ages. Everybody thinks, well, be right on this next. Jeez, I can't no, even... No, my, my grandfather died um, when he was 53 or 57 or any See, I couldn't and tell. He wasn't very big. He wasn't very big. This is a tall man. Makes me think 5'10", 6 foot. Then, you, well, I'm giving the description. Uh -huh. Go home and see if you can find it. And um, it makes me think of disease. Maybe cancer. Not positive. Okay? Oh, she's... Do you guys, well, let me go to them. Okay. I've given you a lot of time, you guys. Now, this is what I do for a living, you know. I give you all now, you're not going to seat me out. Okay, you guys, what can I do for Mom and Pop here? Go ahead, Ollie. Well, what do you want? You want? He seems to be having challenges. What are your challenges other than your, your what did it say? He said something wrong, then I came up with this fancy word, and I'm, I got it right. Yeah, and this I did. Is she remember what the doctor said the other day, but that was in between the knees, and she mentioned it. Menditis? <laughs> Mendi Meniscus. Oh, meniscus, meniscus? Meniscus tear or something like that? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It feels like you have heat in other joints. So I want to say you have a combination of, it feels like you pronated your knee, and then the arthritis is in the beginning stages of your shoulders and your neck. Feels like your shoulders are heated too. I don't have any problem there. I know. I know, but I'm getting it. Huh? He doesn't feel it yet. <laughs> what other health issues do you have? Well, and, well, I got a cold right now too. Well, that'll count. That'll that's, count? No, that's not life threatening. That's the only challenge, and that dude's that that dude's enough to stop me cold. Here. Remember, I had my knee rebuilt because of something. I don't remember what it was, but I tore a whole bunch of stuff in there. Yeah, really. That was five years ago. And they do wonderful things. They just do a couple of holes and they fix it. Yeah. Had arthritis yesterday. in there. Huh? You just got to fix yesterday. It's five years. And they cut out all the arthritis, too. They can shave the arthritis growth off while they fixed all the tearing that was going on in there. Oh, wow. And the scar tissue, they cleaned up my knee. Both knees have arthritis in them. But this one doesn't have it because they shaved it off from all the years of running and horseback riding. Oh, wow. So if they have to go in there and have them clean up the whole knee, it's really oh, easy. Well. Yeah. You may have to have some work on it. Don't be surprised. Sorry. I kind of felt that that would be the Probably case. within six months. You would say it's about six months? Within six months. Uh-huh. Within six months. Yeah. Well, that's what the doctor's projecting, too. Sorry. We're both right, and you know something's happening here. Yeah. Okay. I want to thank you for your accuracy with the word. I don't know where it came from. I don't either. I usually don't get names. I can't even get <laughs> let alone medical terms. I can't hear that well. She's had a new little baby girl. Did you really? Yeah, is this the Ollie? Is this a, the, the girl we've been seeing all this time? Uh, Remember we saw a girl for the longest time. We couldn't figure out where she belonged. Yeah, it's on my side of the family and, and uh, uh, my son Steve. Uh, was his third. Was it his side of the family we kept seeing the girl? Or your side? 
Okay, so we had the girl show up finally. Yeah, Sometimes the spirits stay in the family for a while. We don't know where. So what son so that's is this? pretty stalwart to me. You know, uh, I, I haven't seen a picture of her, but I think he's going to be quite a... Which son? The one in back east? The one in Chicago, yeah. So they had a girl. Yeah, name her? Two girls and a boy now. Huh? What did they name her? Stacy Marie. She looks like a blonde. I get real fair, white hair, blue that's, eyes. That's typical. And I want to say she's going to be 5'5 five five and sturdy. And sturdy. Square. That's what I said the other night. Yeah. So she's going to be like a rooster. She's going to be square. Square. She's, she's going to be pretty tough. She's going to be very uh, sports athletic, outdoorsy. And I'm not talking she's gay or nothing. She's just really um, athletic, outdoorsy. Oh, uh -huh. great. Yeah. Is her mother like that? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. I'm glad to hear that. Will Light, very... More? Oh, yeah. Really? Could be. Boy. Another boy? Mm-hmm. Ay, ay, ay. Well. Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, what was I saying about this girl? Uh, Maybe he's going to have five instead of three. This girl that looks, that's born, looks like she's really light-complected. Uh-huh. Is the mom, who's light-complected like that? Well, it's my son's light-complected. Oh, is he? Oh, yeah. okay, okay. And, uh, um, really? Long. They're, they're all blonde. Mm -hmm. I mean, my white hair. This girl looks like she's got white hair to blonde and her uh, fair, fair skin. I'm looking at her probably 12 to 13. Uh-huh. Okay. Good. I don't know why I jump up so far. But I feel like within two years there's another child. feels very strong masculine, so I think it's a boy. That's okay. We'll see. Good. Thank you. I think it might even be less than two years because um, the, their biological clock is Oh, really? How old is she now? Well, he's 37, and I think she's just a couple years behind him. 35? Oh, that's kids. Yeah. <laughs> got a ways to go. Well, yeah, yeah but not really. Not to have them on hand. Not to have anyone kids to begin with. Huh? They just had them within the last, well, uh, Stephanie's three. Oh, three years. Oh, lost mm. a year and a half. And Marie. I can see why you're saying that. Ooh, ouch. Yeah, they, they, they were late. That makes me tired just thinking about it. getting started. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, but I'm happy for them. Yeah. Wonderful. What else? Anything else? What do you got, Polly? What do you see my son doing with his life? I see him getting out working with his hands. Yeah. Is he doing that now? Feels like he's working with hands, but I don't know what kind of work it is. Maybe I'm more serious about him <laughs> um, I want to say more yes and no because he's going to get a steady job, and he wants to keep the job. Wh whatever he does with his hands, the next job he wants, he'll want to stay there. Whatever it is. Um, in fact, it's almost like he got the job, so if he loses it, he don't know how easy it's going to be to get another one. So he's got a little fear in the spirit. That's good stuff. <laughs> Too bad we have to get there like that. Okay? We had a fun group. Huh? <laughs> it, we're all different, thank goodness. We just, you know, he may just be a young spirit. That's okay. His life, not yours. Don't go there. Oh, I know that. It's just I don't like to see him Well, <laughs> what, what parent wants to see the kid in trouble? Well, they, Well, yeah, I imagine. Didn't he spend just a little bit of time here? Yeah, he just he just got out of Folsom because of the drinking. And they said if you caught him, he's going back big time. Oh, that's too bad. Uh, on some level, you know, he's a young spirit. I don't want him in there forever. And just flow with this, because I'm not... He liked it in there. He was being taken care of. Mm -hmm. I know, but in there, he was being taken care of. Mm -hmm. He had no stress of life. Mm -hmm. So if he creates it, it's because he's desiring that. Just... It just flow... Like he liked it, I know, but I think on some level, he's showing me the inside of his cell, mm -hmm. and he's very peaceful in there. I know it sounds bizarre, but... He doesn't well, it was, yeah, he, he said it was. I, that's what I'm getting. 
<coughs> and I'm not saying that you want to tell the world, by the way, I have a son in jail. To him, that's comfortable. And I just want you to... I'm going to a couple more questions. One, his middle son is in trouble. And he's in juvenile hall. Yeah, he's, he's young. He's young. But he ran away and then he turned himself back in because his parents, neither one of his parents had told him to go back to where he came from. He had about a month and a half ago. Do you, do you see him continuing to no. get into trouble? No, I don't. No, I hope not. Because you know he stole a car. And How old is he? kid stole another car. Uh, and 16. I feel like he's just mischievous. I don't think he's a bad person. He's not bad. None of the kids are bad. They just, they just pull the devil, you know. Well, that's what I'm asking. Is it going to be a, like a pattern? I don't get that. This, life or just, just this is just, go. this is that. I don't think this is a pattern, though. No. Right. He's a really good, good kid. I think they were doing something. They really learning his lesson. I, I just get this is not a pattern. Okay. He's a nice kid. Okay. Anything else? What was the last thing? Ken, do you have anything else? I think that do? Well, let's call a night. I gave you a call if I need. I gave you, I gave you. Remember I asked, I had one more thing. I didn't say I was going to answer it. I don't. answered everybody else. But I gave you a long time, dear. Don't go there. Don't think you're cheating because I didn't cheat you. Well, let's call the night, okay? And I'm going to go give gifts to grandchildren. Now, don't you? Yes, Thank yes. You. Now, I monitored the time. I gave everybody the same amount of time. Gave you more time. I'm very, very fair. Okay, girls. Thank you. Fellas, you're welcome. Well, I'm going to go get my share of kisses. Oh. <laughs> what are they? Um, their uh, birthday or something? Jacqueline's uh, 11 today. The 19th and Sam is April 10th. See you next time. I'm surprised we don't have more people just because. I tell people about like this and some are coming. You know, I think it's raining. You know, it's, it's, I do feel like you're right. They're probably like watching the movie or I think there's no. people this storm so it's everybody in on the first time yeah, so this is the first winter and just this is the first really this is the first storm we've had yeah. mm -hmm. this is the first um yeah really uh substantial storm yeah there was one a while back like yeah. yeah 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 and they said it's gonna last like the summer yeah. oh did it yeah, yeah I was I heard it was gonna be tomorrow I didn't know Sunday too yeah it's supposed to be through the roof right? I, I need a bill for $25. You need a bill for $25? They write $25 for the little one, the ball. Oh, yeah, she wants a, she wants a, one of those balls, the, the smaller one. The bigger one and the smaller one. This one here? Um, yeah, that's a small one. The one on the outside is a large one. Uh, my new house, I think that would be pretty, my little office. I'll hang it from the ceiling when I'm working, typing. It's going to be fun to have a, I don't know how to do it, maybe a little light underneath it or... I've been mm -hmm. thinking about it for a while. You fall and break your leg. Yeah. That's all I need. It's an easy coming down. I'm not used to that little light. Thank you, Nancy. Well, nice seeing you, Julie. Too. Too. So I would like to ask you a couple of questions, but just not everybody. <laughs> <laughs>